using slides in your Al school class is an easy and fast way and a quick way to create a lesson and to have that engagement in class that the slides offer. So today, that is what we're going to talk about, creating slides in Canva. Hello everyone, I'm teacher Natalie from the edtechwizard.com and on my channel you'll find videos all about teaching online, using technology in your classes, and becoming the best online teacher you can be. If you would like to get hired with VIP Kid or OutSchool, I am more than willing to help you and coach you through the application process and beyond. You just need to create an account with my link down below in the description box and shoot me an email that you used it. In today's video, we are going to talk about and walk you through creating slides in Canva. I'm going to show you the be bells and whistles so you can create a fun presentation and let you know everything you can do with Canva on your slides. When you create your slides, keep in mind the content you're delivering and the best way to deliver it. Now, I teach math. So I do use slides in my classes, slides for something, but slides not when I'm demonstrating. Now it took me a second to remember this, but when you are presenting a slide or a presentation, you are small in your screen. So if you have to demonstrate something, it is best to have you front and center as the full screen, not a slide. Um, because it's hard for students to see you when you're so little. Now let's hop into Canva. Go ahead and create your free account if you haven't and let's get started. Here we are in Canva. Now to find a presentation, find that the correct sizing, you're going to go ahead and search Canva and type in presentation and it should pop up. So there are always several templates for you to choose from when you create a presentation. Um, and when you create from a template, you can edit everything. You can edit the color, change the color, change the graphics, change them out, add more graphics. Everything is edible. So I personally like to use, I like to create a slide presentation from a template. That way all that the nice looking stuff, the color, the text boxes, they're already there for me. I can focus on my lesson and the content I need to add to my lesson. So I'm going to start from a template, but you also can start from a blank presentation and add everything yourself. So templates, search the templates, see what you find, see which one works for you. And um, you can also go to your designs and click on um, the designs you need and you or you've already created you can click your designs and see that there so I'm going to browse through here I'm just going to click this now there are a lot of fun things in a slide already so it comes up with the templates and these are all the slides included in this template so I can browse through here and this is what is already here. I can change the text font, the text and font and color of everything. See here, I love um, the a single letter. They change the color for the single letter. And that's how you can change it up here, text color. You can change that right here. It can be all one color, whatnot. So everything's edible, but I want to I want to show you what you can do with it. So clicking off, I just click the background. Here it says animate, and it pulls up a bunch of list of animate, and it also gives you a preview of what that looks like. Fade. My favorite one is tumble. Everything just kind of tumbles together. So in Canva, they do a lot of the a lot of the work for you. I'm not needing to go. To each individual thing to animate it I just had to click one fade my favorite is tumble now I can click here to apply to all of the my pages or just this one and I just clicked off of it and then I can click another page in here I'm going to add a new page 
and then I can animate it as well with something different. Here is the timing for the edit, how fast do I want it to go in slow, or do I want it to be really fast, and then just click done. Now if I click on the slide, then you get more options. So off the slide, I have the animation button. I'm gonna click on the slide, it's blue highlighted, so I can edit it. Now I can change the background color. I want to change it to this color or this color, or if I have a certain theme I'm going for, I can change the color. Now, uh, what is really cool, if I want to change the all the color on, if I want to change the whole color on my slide all together, then this button down here at the bottom, change all. So if I want to change what the original color was, this, this light pink to this darker pink on all of my slides, I'm going to click change all. Now it's changed the background color for all of my slides that had that color. This one did not change because it was a different color. I can also change the pictures. If I can want, I can make, I can resize it, this picture. I can go to photos and switch out the picture for what I want. Say I don't want the teddy bear there, I can add a picture there. Now this was a frame that's really cool, so I'll show you how I did that. So this right here, this picture, I can move, but if I delete it and it shows up with this background, that means I can drag and drop a picture over it and it will put it right in that frame so I get the same shape. If I do not have that frame there, I my picture, I insert a picture and it's going to be square. And to find those, you're gonna type in frame. And you have to be on elements, frames, type in frames, see all, and then all of these will make your picture put it into that frame, which is really cool. So if we do this one, photos of an animal, this drag it in there and it's right there inside the frame. So cool. Now you can, I'm just hitting backspace to delete it. Here is a word, I can double click on it. Here's how I change the font. Anything here I can change or I can use. If it has a crown on it, it is in the paid version. And if it does not have a crown on it, it is free for you to use. And scroll down and there are way down here once we start. And there are lots of free ones to use, ones you like. And then change the color. Up here I can change the color, the bold highlight or underline. This change the text case if that's available for fonts. For some fonts, the, that's how the font is, all capital letters. But if I want to change it, then that's there. And then I can change the alignment here. I can add bullet points to my bullet points to my let's change let's change this color so we can see it. I can add bullet points to um, any text I'm working on and whatnot. Rotate my text. You can play around with it, have fun with it. Um, I can also change, if I move this, I have effects. I can change the different effects for my wording and font to make it stand out more. This one's fun, the curve. Now, if I like a slide and I want to duplicate the majority or the whole slide or the whole all of the elements on the slide, then I'm going to click here, duplicate page. That's going to duplicate everything on the slide. So now I can make minor changes to this slide. And up here at the top, I have add a page. Then that's going to let me add another slide, but it's going to be blank. It kept my it kept my background color, but I'm going to, I would need to add my own elements. So I don't want that. So I'm going to click backspace it or and delete it, delete page. Now I want to look through slides and if I don't want one, I'm going to click delete it. If I want to add 
a slide, then I need to go back up to templates and I can pick the slide I want to use and just add it back in. So say if I want this one here, I just click on it and it's adding that page in. Well, now one thing I want to show you here is here are all the icons that they used in this slide. So when, or if, or you do add your own slide or say you want to add another element to it, but you want it to match everything, you can use this icon, icon page so everything matches. You're not needing to go search for all of these elements. They're right there for you. All you're gonna have to do is copy and paste. So if I want this one, on a different page, I'm gonna click Control C for copy. And if I want it on this page, I'm gonna click on it. So it's blue and highlighted, Control V. Now I added this element right here. Ta-da! And now it's going to be matching throughout my whole slides. Now we are presenting this, this slide as a lesson. So up here, it looks like a sticky note. I'm gonna add presenter notes. Now these are notes displayed in presenter view and I'll show you what that looks like. But to add these notes, these are notes I want to remember while I'm presenting. So say I, I get to this slide and I want to know a specific question to ask on this slide, or I want to make sure I hit this point or ask this question. Anything I want to remember while I am presenting, this is my note hello and then I know I have something written here because it has these lines if I go down to the bottom I see I have 25 slides here I'm gonna click grid view this is going to let me view all of my slides at once so here I can click oh I need this one here I can oops there I can move my slides around and see it in a big picture I can also delete a slide or duplicate a slide in this print in this view or add a new slide and then click the X to get out of that now I want to present this so I'm gonna go click the three dots and then click present and I have a couple options here standard that means my whole screen is going to be this presenter view. This is if I'm sharing my screen in Zoom, sharing my whole screen, this is what students are going to see. And then my picture my, from Zoom will be um, here in a corner. So this is what students will, go, will see. This is what I will see, this whole page. And then click the arrows to go back and forth between slides and then click escape to exit out of that view. Now I want those presenter notes. I created a note for that page. I want to see it. I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to go to presenter view and present. And then now I'm going to pop up with two windows. This is my audience window, the audience window that they will see. So they're just going to see the slides. Now keep in mind if you are in Zoom and sharing your entire screen, your students are going to see both windows. So when you're in presenter view, you need to share a portion of your screen. And if you want to know how to share just a portion of your Zoom screen, or your screen, not the whole screen, just a portion of your screen, then check out this video. I've got you covered. It's super easy to share just a portion of your screen, which is what you want to do if you want the presenter notes. So here at presenter, this is what the audience will see. So I'm going to drag this off to the side. This is set up to easily take two monitors. So you have one monitor for your presenter screen and then another screen for your notes. But I only have one monitor, so I have to share a portion of my Zoom screen so I can still see the notes if I want to. So if I click enter full screen mode, this is what my screen will look like. If I have one monitor, this is what my students will see. But I want to see 
my notes. So I'm going to drag this over to the side and it's going to take up two space, two or half of my page, half of my monitor. And now my presenter window, this window's just for me. Place it on the screen so only you can see, such as your laptop or fallback monitor. So if you have two monitors, I can do that. But I don't have two monitors, so right now I'm in split screen. Got it. So when I portion, when I share a portion of my screen for Zoom, I am just going to put that green box that says what I'm presenting on this page. I'm just going to outline right here on this on the slide so they're not my students aren't even going to see this blank black space I'm just gonna put that box around here now this is what I am seeing and I can see the notes so my notes are going to pop up right on the side here uh, hello and from this view I can also add new notes so if I am practicing this practicing setting it up I can add right here, add a new note right here, and it will save it automatically. It's automatically saved. Since we are here, we are presenting. Let's go over a couple of fun presentation um, tricks, engagement tricks that you can make pop up on your screen. So let's see what those look like. So using your keyboard, if you press letters, they're going to have fun things pop up. So if I click the letter D, then we get a drum roll and then click D again and it'll make it go away. If I push B, it blurs my slide. So maybe just for a second, I don't want students to see what is on the slide or I want them to pay attention to what I am saying. So I'm just going to blur that slide out so they can focus on me and then click B and it will bring it back. See, this one's fun. This is C, it adds confetti. So maybe you're celebrating as confetti to your slide. And if you just click C, then you'll get a lot of confetti. That one's always fun. And then you can have bubbles. This one is O, letter O will give you bubbles. Q, Maybe your students are being too loud. <laughs> and then push Q again and it will go away. And this one's fun is an on-screen timer. Um, we'll pop up for your students and I love the water, how it is slowly draining out. So keep in mind this, this timer you can see is not on my whole presentation. So if I'm sharing a portion of my screen then and this pops up make sure it's in that green box you share now we're, we're going to go to present we're going to go to standard mode present then i don't have to worry about anything my whole screen is here and everything on my screen will show up so t so the number for the timer and if i click a different number seven will give me seven minutes eight will give me eight minutes and there you go. If you need help creating lessons for your out-school classes, be sure to download my free guide down below in the description box. I have a free lesson plan template along with some ideas to get you started writing your own lesson plan. If you need help with gathering ideas and wondering what do I teach? I want to teach for out-school, but what do I teach? Then I also have a free guide for you down below will after filling it out you will have several ideas ready to go teaching for out school presenting with canva and creating lessons is so much fun and it keeps your students engaged um if you want to learn how to do more with canva i do have some more videos on how to create worksheets with canva for your classes so be sure to check those ones out as well hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified when my next video comes out how to create some games in canva and play games on zoom see you next time guys